Hello, this is Haku Devine, and I am here with another separate because I don't feel like I creating SCP constantly. Today, we're tumbling. We're on our slash tumbler because I thought it might be a little bit fun and might make you laugh. And we are just starting off strong with a massive gem. Why does Red do this? No, I probably don't need to do that actually. Oh, these pies aren't made aren't homemade. They're made in a factory. A bomb factory. They're bombs. Who the frick thought up the plot for this episode? <laughs> Can I like actually see the image? I'll see that. I love pitting classically trained and magic users against self-taught magic users in sci-fi and fantasy, but it shouldn't be snobbish disdain for them, it should be terror. Who taught you lightning before basic telekinesis? Losing my mind, what do you mean you just did it? What do you mean you cast with your bare hands? What do you mean that you've hacked mana drain? What do you mean drink some juice? What is low blood sugar? Why is this working? I hate you so much. Okay, but other direction can also be a lot of fun. What do you mean I don't have to burn half of my body to create a fireball? Why can you help or more than once without vomiting? What the heck is the quantum displacement awareness? You know, how many spells? How? What do you mean, my spell book? Oh, you're just wa serving water portions for the plane of water. <laughs> I thought I had to buy an hydrogen and oxygen and like was to generate water in small amounts. That's so much easier than what I was doing. Self taught. <coughs> Hmm. Now, why would I not want to see the full or image? Oh God, maybe that's why. Cause it's seeing this crap. Hey, I'm really sorry because you were a really cool mutual, but for the record, I have to unfollow you because the purple creature in your profile picture, whatever she's from, or they, sorry, I want to assume the beast's pronouns, I love all genders. Sounds pretty weird, anyway. Looks almost exactly like my ex-girlfriend's persona. It just seems weird to just mention that you love all genders out of nowhere. Whatever, that's not important. And I tried to ignore that for a while because I'm not the kind of, of person who would unfollow someone because a creature looks like my, like my ex's persona, but get this. She drew her persona, hitting me, human. I'm not a furry, nothing against them. I love all genders. Furry is not a... Actually, it could be, who knows. I love all genders, with a car, Honda Civic, and sent me for a burner account on Toy House. So this is to say, I can't keep doing this. I'm gonna miss your posts, though you are a real one. I loved when you would say shit like, like it's the Epsler Wednesday, post Knuckles. What? 
how I know I don't think I'd be following an account that's literally using in slurs, but that's my I, I own personal opinion. Ah, uh, going back to the top. I was having fun. Don't you just love it when the Wi-Fi just stops working? I avoid stuff that I just don't like. Anyway. <sighs> My Adventures with Superman is moving to Adult Swim and will be and will release this year. I would say this Superman is the one that gets pegged. Now that I think about it, all versions of Superman get pegged. Not going to explain what that word means or what uh, this is talking about. <laughs> so, my boyfriend came out as trans last night, and I realized something. Back when we first started dating, we identified as lesbians. Then I came out as trans, and consequently realized I'm bisexual. And now I'm in a gay relationship. So what I'm trying to say is that I have actually been LGBT as a singular person. Every single acronym, I have ascended and reached gay nirvana. This character is LGBT. What, all at once? All at once. Always all at once. <laughs> Messages from a happier timeline. Heartwarming story. Little girl doesn't have to do anything to fund her dad's surgery because his expenses are covered by his country's universal health care. Human determination. Man bikes 18 miles to work every morning because he wants to and not because he can't afford a car and would be fired if he's late. Spirit of brotherhood. Neighbors her host for a party for elderly resident who does need help in paying rent because his pension is more than enough. Don't you just wish that was real? <sighs> Do you guys think that Judas was awkward in the mouth of Satan in Night Circle of Hell because the two other guys who was trapped forever with know each other? Like, do you think Cassius and Brutus had a lot of inside jokes and Judas would try to join in and they would have to gently lay him down while being chewed on. <laughs> if you take a left hand person as a righty, it means you can hold hands together while holding swords in your dominant hands and fighting off your mutual enemies. True love, it isn't that right? Fade a keep uranium amulet, clothes made out of asbestos, and bowls of lead-infused water around on the residents as a human deterrent. They don't know why humans love these items, for as long as it makes them um, screw off, these charms are useful. You 
You wake up and find a fat er, is stored in the lime salt you put on your windowsill like it's coke. Doesn't that crap have kill you? You ask the you for a term. Not very fast, the fairy says, and keeps snorting. I hate being possessed by a corp girl body. This is freaking BS. Constant whines and demands. Last thing in the, in the evening so you can sleep. And then you can freaking wake up of having to do it first thing in the morning. All over again. Twice in the middle of the day. At noon and afternoon. Sometimes in between too. It's freaking relentless. How much does a human freaking body have to freaking eat? I legit thought you were, were complaining about how much you have to... Something that I can't say. <sighs> the lights on the game flag are straight. Not anymore! This is better... What a jerk, honestly. I think one of my biggest pet peeves regarding inner behavior is the way some people try to psychoanalyze others. Like, the amount of assumptions I've seen people make over one or two sentences or a 30 second video is wild. Drew Gooden recently made a, a video about this phenomenon in regards to TikToks, for example. Well, there was one TikTok where a woman expressed how much she loves Quiet Nights, where her husband plays video games and she watches Netflix or whatever. And a comments where people were full of people saying stuff like, this is a healthy relationship, why aren't you spending time together, and these two are, are on the brink of divorce. Like, jeez, keep your stupid assumptions and BS psychoanalysis to yourself. The same goes for our body language analysis BS. Uncat had a fantastic video essay on why body knowledge is, is a pseudoscience and people still cling to it. Also, I'm a fan of True Fine, but I'm a, don't get me started on the way a, 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 a freak is in that community act. When they think that you they found a suspect. Actually, a big part of this is when people assume stuff because of a made up of little unwritten rules. Like, if you're not facing them, you're not uh, actually listening, that's kind of annoying and stupid. I'm not facing you because I'm autistic and I don't fucking and feel like I need to, if you can hear me still. That's also why I don't make eye contact. A lot of these social rules that people made up forever ago are incredibly weird to me. But that's just me. <clears throat> but it's funny how we hate ourselves, or do we see other people hating themselves, and we're like, No, no, don't do that. No. <laughs> <sighs> I love folklore so much because depending on the location and era it comes from, it's either the most terrifying in concept or the dumbest thing you've ever heard. Next good folklore. You think this place is a normal location? <laughs> you fool. Everyone knows this place is the scary location. British folklore. 
There's a little beast in your house. Make sure you give it the necessary porridge. Otherwise, it might turn mis to mischief. Jared Folklore. For the love of God, do not trust hot people. And do not trust babies. And do not trust short men. And do not trust Christmas. And do not trust sausage. And do not trust the elderly. And U.S. Folklore. This giant boy from Texas is God's favorite. Oh, that's Chuck Norris. That's literally just Chuck uh, Norris. It, it, it's memes. Or I guess legends. I'm trying to zoom out like. I don't want to. I don't want to read that. <laughs> <sighs> Apparently, when my grandma first came to America, she didn't know what a raccoon was and assumed it was a fricked up cat and adopted it. I just imagine this 13 year old, old girl with a, a heavy Eastern European accent being like, first of all, I don't know Eastern European accent, but I can try. This is my cat, Petter. He is not very friendly. <sighs> Alarm goes off. Well, time to put on my office soda. <laughs> I bet you have an office suit and everything. This is my office soda. His name is Dave, and he has a gunmetal old gray suit with an eggshell old shirt and a bright blue tie. He has flesh sheet powers and can survive an entire day in a meeting when he has to, but he prefers to work at his desk. His biggest weakness is when people try to make small talk before he's had his coffee. Looking forward to the RP! What the hell? I love that though. It's so hard to read these sometimes. Why do you have no mercy? Reddit pictures. Hey, I wonder what would happen what happens if I put powdered milk into carbonated water? <sighs> My cereal is loud and it's a man to know why I would sin against both nature and God so thoughtlessly. How does it taste? Bad. The fizz comes from carbonic acid in the water. It's splitting up into CO2 and HO2 over time, and carbonic acid is an acid. Sour. By adding milk to sour water, you create a very convincing emulation of spoiled milk. So I'll believe in a, gr in a heart piece that the your taste is not great. Trademarked. <laughs> I have mastered the potion instant spoiled milk, therefore earning the rank of crappiest alchemist currently alive. Good job, OP. Good job. <laughs> That's just great. What is this? Oh, it's an ad. I'm not supposed to be seeing those. They're not allowed to be seen. Oh no, I'm gonna be in trouble for seeing an ad. I still love Adblocker, and that this browser just has it, it automatically. Anyway. Huh. <sighs> I don't want to see that meme. Alright, we're back where we were. <sighs> I wish puberty took you to customize your character screen. 
do you realize how many people would be dragons? You say this like it's a bad thing. I mean, r slash edge edge ace with way too many a's for me to actually be able to pronounce it without that sound like um, some person from a 90s TV show. Well, has taught me that uh, 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 dragons are freaking cool. Oh no 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 no! Don't. One fun thing about being a teacher in March 2023 is that chess is a literal epidemic among teens. We are sorry to have meetings about how we can stop teenagers from playing too much chess, which is like we were are trying to figure out how to stop them from reading for fun. When I was in high school five years ago, chess was nerd crap only. But now it is for sending every social and language barrier and is absolutely rampant. Kids aren't, aren't on their phone texting in class anymore. It's only chess.com. Kids are playing chess on their phones while playing chess in real life. This is so better than TikTok because at least kids are developing an attention span from this. The worst part of this is that they're on chess.com instead of getting an education, but the best part of this is watching high schoolers develop the weirdest strategies I've ever seen. One of my students invited a strategy he calls the evil advisor or gambit. Where he gets a third person to give out constant terrible advice to both teams, hoping that his opponent falls for it straight up, or that his opponent thinks he fell for it and will act accordingly, thus worsening their own strategy. He has won on every game he has been able to pull off of a coordinated an evil advice of gravity. And this is chess innovative, never seen in its 700 years on Earth. By the way, I love this on so many levels. When I was in freaking high school and stuff, I was always reading in class. I'll be honest. What's this? Oh, okay. But I remember in like middle school, I went to a chess club and played chess until I got tired of being there. <sighs> and I still remember er, er, learning some really cool old moves from um this one person who was really good at chess in that club. It was really fun. I got to use that move against my younger brother who didn't know I was going to use that move against him exactly once. <sighs> I don't feel good today. Back hurts, tummy hurts, palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti wants to know. You okay? <laughs> <clears throat> when your hair is wavy or curly, you sometimes there's a fine line between messy romantic waves and evil witch who lives in in the woods. When your hair is fine and straight, there is a there's a fine line in between sleek and elegant and a weasel all dipped in grease. When your hair is thick, there's a fine line between gorgeous, vibrant, bounce, and holy frick, it's Hagrid. Oh, I have curly hair. Oh, wait. That's in real life. Sorry. I'm just gonna do this when I have to do that because it's easier this way. <laughs> My boyfriend just woke up, mostly still asleep, and told me, Don't worry. It's getting better, in a heavy American accent. Which is unusual for an Australian man. Why are you American, I asked. 
to which I got, sorry, it's getting better, in a stereotypical posh English accent. Why are you... English? I asked, amused. What is he normally? He managed to ask. He? You're not anyone else. You're you. Ugh, me. It was the last thing he said in a right proper Aussie accent before he fell back into a proper sleep. This lady just sort of goes possession by judging his accents. <sighs> My boyfriend would be getting hit and with the baseball bat beside her back. And if he ever woke up and said, What is he normally about himself? <laughs> then you would have not liked the time he pointed to the corner of our room while he was sleeping and said, they share a dimension with Earth, and they take cats to eat them. I absolutely do not like that. This is both a part of the meme and my honest opinion. Holy crap. Whew. I accidentally told a customer the wrong price. As unlike the little F-slur I have, I said, and, oopsie, I lied to you, hold on. And she, without any pause, said, all liars go to hell. Like, okay, a mover, chill out. Alright, let's just do this again, because... This is literally the easiest way to actually be able to read these things. When I was 12 and on the internet unsupervised, I ended up in this chat room. Those were a thing back then. Kind of like a Discord server or that's free to enter but ranged small because only the regulars knew it. And argued with people there. I was internet smart enough to not tell them my real age, so they assumed I was an adult and really mocked me for having the mental maturity of a 12 year old. Yeah, I kept going back there because having enemies on the internet was better than having no friends at all. There is this, this guy there that ended up being my genuine freaking nemesis. We both hated each other's guts. He was telling me to off myself, and now it's like he to off himself on a constant basis. Gradually, the threats and hate my out of doubt turn into benign drabs. We end up, up developing some, some grudging respect for one another, and gradually, it actually became tolerable friends. Then, this one time, I asked him how old he thinks I am. This is across my mind that I had never actually told him. He roughly answered as, oh, we're around my own age, I guess. So, about 30? I was 16. <laughs> Oh damn, I lost track of time. Alright, I think that's enough for today. We had a really long time, Humble. That was r slash Tumblr. We, we had a nice tumble down some uh, memes that don't really have quite a theme, other than the fact that they come from one site called Tumblr. Which is kind of like replacing Twitter after a certain idiot decides to take over. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. This has been a half hour long video without me even noticing until oh, just now. I'll see you tomorrow with some more weird stuff I find on the internet. Maybe more red cringe, maybe more, I don't know, freaking fan fictions. I really don't know.
Maybe some back rooms. Maybe some SCP again. <sighs> maybe just whatever piques my interest that day. Anyway, goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow.